Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the look I filmed for you today. It's a nice, soft, peachy, half cut crease holding on to summer kind of look. As always, I will list everything in the description box down below along with links where you can get it for yourself. If you love this video at the end, please give me a thumbs up. And before we get started into the video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon and that will give you notifications every time I upload. So, without further ado, if you want to learn how to create this look, please keep on watching. So, as you can see, my foundation and concealer is already done. I've already prepped my lids with my Eden Primer Potion from Urban Decay and I've also done my brows and I use the taupe Brow Wiz pencil from ABH. So we're gonna start off building up the crease. This is gonna be quite a soft look, so I'm literally gonna use like one or two shades in the crease. So the first shade I'm gonna use is an oldie but a goodie. It's Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek, and I'm just gonna use this with a Zoeva 221 brush. I'm just gonna start building up the transition. And because we are doing like a soft cut crease effect, I'm going to take it right into the inner corner as well. And I'm going to lightly flick it out of the outer corner. The next shade I'm going to use is another one from Makeup Geek. This one is called Frappe. And I'm just going to do exactly the same as what I did with the peach smoothie shade. I'm even going to use the same brush. So I'm just starting with a really small amount of product and I'm slowly building it up. And I'm making sure that I'm looking down into my mirror so that I can really get the brush right into my crease. Then as always, I'm just gonna take a clean brush and I'm just gonna really buff that along the edges to make sure everything is blended out. Okay, so that is all I'm going to do for the crease color for now. So now I'm gonna move on to cutting out my lid. I'm gonna take my MAC Pro Longwear as always. And I'm just taking a flat concealer brush that has a rounded edge. And again, I'm just gonna do my little trick. So you just wanna place the concealer onto the lower part of your lid. Look up, and you can see where it'll print for you to cut out. So you just wanna follow those lines. and then you just wanna stop just before you get to the end. So to blend out this little area here, I'm just gonna take a Morphe, I think this is an E23 or an E28, um, and I'm just going to pull that concealer really lightly towards the outer corner, and that'll just help it to blend. I'm really sort of like just patting it, to be honest. And then before I go on and cut out the other eye, I'm gonna set this one just to prevent it from transferring anymore. So to set the very inner corner, I'm just gonna take a bone colored shadow. I'm just using the one from the Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm just taking a flat synthetic brush and I'm just gonna press that onto the inner corner. And then for the center of the lid and to blend in with the outer corner, I wanna use a really nice peach shade. So I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette and I'm gonna use the shade Clementine. And I'm going to start off by applying that with a Zoeva 231 brush. And then I'm gonna move on to like a more precise brush for the edges. So I'm just gonna start pressing that on the 
outer corner first. And then slowly bringing it onto the lid. And as you get towards the area that you've already set, it will start to blend out really nicely. And then I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of the bone shade, just to help blend and make sure that it's set really well. And then just to deepen up the outer corner again and the crease, I'm gonna go back in with my brush that I use for frappe. I'm gonna buff a little bit of that into the crease again. And then on a slightly smaller brush, I'm going to take the shade Coco Bear, also by Makeup Geek. And I'm using that on a 224 brush from Zoeva. And I'm just gonna press that onto the outer corner just to help deepen it up. So now that the eyeshadow on the top of our eyes is done, I'm going to go ahead and do my wings. So obviously, obviously, I'm using Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. It's, it is my ride or die. And I want to do, like, I don't want to do, like, a crazy long wing. I want to do kind of, like, a thick, sharp wing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a short line. And then I'm just going to connect that. That wing could smell beer. That almost fucked up my day. I need to have a break. So I said I wasn't gonna do a long ass wing, but it just got out of hand. And here we are. So we're gonna roll with a long wing. So now that the wing is done, I'm just gonna do my under eye and I'm just gonna take Cocoa Bear with my 224 and I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line. I'm actually going to switch my brush and I'm going to use my Spectrum A07 brush. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the peach shade that we used on my 231 brush. I'm just going to dust a really light bit of that just on the inner part of my lower lash line. And then to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to take Fuego, and this is from the Desi and Ke Dose of Colors collection. And I'm just going to take that on a 230 pencil brush from Zoeva. And I'm also going to take a little bit of that on my brow bone as well, just to make it pop a little bit. So I'm just gonna apply my mascara and lashes off camera and I'll be right back to finish off the look. So I just went ahead and finished off the look by adding lashes and contour and highlight. If you wanna know how I contour and highlight, I did the exact same thing with the exact same product in my last video that I posted. And the lashes that I'm wearing are from Backstage Beauty. These ones are called Rodeo Drive. So they're just super fluffy and thick. So then just to finish off the look, I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to be using the Desi and Ke lipsticks and the gloss. So I'm going to use both colours and then the gloss on top. And then to line, I'm just going to take Oak from MAC and just really quickly line the outside of my, li my lips.
Now I've lined my lips, the first shade I'm going to take is more creamer please, which is the darker of the two. And I've just left the centre bare. And then I'm going to take no shade, which is the lightest. I'm going to pop that right in the centre. So that just gives you like a nice ombre effect. And then just to finish it off, I'm gonna pop the gloss over the top, which is cooled over the top, which is so fitting. But I'm not gonna apply it with the applicator because I don't wanna get it all messed up with the lipstick. So what I'm gonna do is just pop a bit on the back of my hand. So I've got some on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna apply that with a brush. And that is the finished look. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, and that'll give you notifications every time I post. As always, everything will be listed in the description box down below, as well as links for where you can get everything. Obviously, the Desi and Katie collection is sold out at the moment, but they are restocking on the 24th of September. Hopefully this video will be up before then. If you would like to see how I did my foundation, I do have a mini tutorial on Instagram that I filmed just before this. You can head over there and you can see my little mini tutorial on all the products I use to get my foundation looking flawless. So I hope you love this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!